Lindsay and Gary, by virtue of the declarations you have made in my presence and in the presence of your witnesses and guests, it's my very pleasant duty to declare that you are now legally married and I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> He gave me a hug and said, are you happy? Then started rummaging in his pocket. <laughs> Gary said I held her hand and got down on one knee. Lindsay started crying and kept shouting, are you being serious? <laughs> and that was that. Then I didn't speak to her for most of the rest of that day as she sat on her phone and told half of Scotland. <laughs> Lindsay and Gary walked gently through this world together and know its wonders for all the days of your lives. Go forward in your life together with the good wishes of those who love you. Remember this day, those who came to wish you well, the words you have spoken, the emotions you feel, and the love you have declared. But above all, be happy. Promise to love you. Promise to love you. Honour and protect you. Honour and protect you. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. And forsaking all others. And forsaking all others. Be faithful to you. Be faithful to you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. I, Lindsay, accept you, Gary. I, Lindsay, accept you, Gary. In marriage. In marriage. As my lawfully wedded husband. As my lawfully wedded husband. I, Gary. I, Gary. Accept you, Lindsay. Accept you, Lindsay. In marriage. In marriage. As my lawfully wedded wife. As my lawfully wedded wife. From the moment Lindsay was born, my wife Kathleen and myself fell in love with her. Excuse me. <clears throat> I never thought she could look any better than she did then until today when I saw our little girl mature into the stunning bride that you see before you today. And so to my beautiful wife, Lindsay. <laughs> Lindsay, you look incredible. And right now, I honestly feel like the luckiest guy in the world. But to be honest, I've been feeling like that for a very long time now. We first properly met in that train to Preswick Airport, head in Tybetha, and that led to meeting back up home, to spin some tunes in the decks, and the rest is history, as they say. You've had my back from day one, Lindsay, loved and supported me, and now it's fair to say that you are my full-time carer. Right from the beginning, I knew she was special and it felt different, and I was right. Over those first few weeks and months when I met her, I came to discover that Lindsay isn't just beautiful and full of class, she's also the most caring, thoughtful and kind person I'd ever met. There's no mystery as to why she plays an important part in so many people's lives and is genuinely loved by so many friends. She's just a very special person. I've came to realise that Lindsay simply makes my life complete and I'm a much happier and far better person for having her in my life. Lindsay picked me up when I was down, stood by my side when it mattered most, and I truly believe I couldn't be anywhere near the man I am today without her by my side. Of course, there is one last special little guy that has came into our lives, and that's our son, Frankie. Welcoming our wee guy into the world has just been the most incredible experience for Lindsay and I and I haven't known quite to just be as happy before as I have been with our little family together. And it goes without saying, Lindsay is just the most amazing mum. Lindsay, I'm just so happy to be standing here today as your husband and the father to our child and I'm so excited about the married life we're about to begin together. I'd just like to say, I love you Mrs Edgar. <laughs> <laughs> 